Soon, many people became so desperate that they were willing to risk death at the hands of the zealots. And so, they would creep out little-known doorways and gates to the city and gather weeds to eat. But outside the city walls, they risked capture and incredibly brutal treatment at the hands of the Roman legionnaires. The Nazi Holocaust of the 20th century has seemed to be a, an endless stream of ghastly stories, fiendish stories of, uh, of, of cruelty that seems to defy uh, the human imagination. But there's an, uh, an appalling stream of such stories from, from this Holocaust as well. Uh, for example, as people began to attempt to leave the besieged city uh, secretly, uh, when they were captured, uh, mercenaries working for uh, Rome would disembowel them, thinking that they might have swallowed gold or, uh, or jewels and that they were hoping then to you know, recover these uh, after they defecated them later on. This is a, not a strange or unusual practice in the, uh, on the part of people fleeing during time of war. Guessing that this might have happened, they literally eviscerated these people uh, looking for the occasional ruby or, or gold coin. The Romans also took many of the men, women, and children they captured and crucified them. At the time of the siege of Jerusalem, thousands were crucified. The historian Josephus says that the hills around the city were deforested. So many trees were chopped down to make crosses on which to crucify Jews. Josephus also describes what I would call terror crucifixions. The city was still under siege, still holding out against the Romans, but crosses were erected on the hillsides around it so that the people inside could see what awaited them if they continued their resistance. Forced to choose between torture at the hands of the Romans or starvation at the hands of the Zealots, the people of Jerusalem were in complete despair. A deep silence and a kind of deadly night seized upon the city. Those that were distressed by the famine were desirous to die, and those already dead were thought happy. It was the last chance for anyone hoping to escape alive. And yet, it was only the decaying bodies of the dead that the zealots would allow to leave. Then, late one night, a procession approached a city gate. It was a group of students carrying the body of Yohanan ben Zakai who had advocated peace instead of war. According to the Jewish book of tradition and law, the Talmud, the zealots were suspicious. Some of the guards asked, who is this? The disciples answered, a dead body. Don't you know that dead bodies may not be kept in Jerusalem overnight? Then one of the zealots decided to drive a dagger through the body. But one of the disciples restrained him by saying, 